The San Francisco Giants are welcoming fans back to Oracle Park with some changes when it comes to health and safety protocols. To discuss what fans can expect ahead of opening day, let's bring in Larry Baer, president and CEO of the San Francisco Giants. Larry, thank you for joining us. It has to be an exciting day, even though things are going to be different this year. It really is. Happy opening day. Um, look, we're, we're just excited to have the energy back with the fans. And more importantly, we're excited that the community's you know, in, in such a better place now and, and working toward getting back to, to normalcy. And, um, and that's just, you know, with, with our community, it's been the numbers have been much better than other parts of the country because we've been vigilant. And we just want to thank the community for all they've done. And I think, you know, in some ways, um, when we start our ceremonies today at one o'clock, it'll be feelings of gratitude um, that we were able to uh, to do relatively well while also observing the, the sadness of, of um, you know, the pain that people in our community have have experienced. Larry, uh, on the screen, we're looking at the rules uh, that uh, you have for allowing people into Oracle Park. And it's going to be either you have a, a fully vaccinated card you can show someone or if you have a negative COVID test. Explain how that works. Uh, having a negative COVID test, it's like within three days of, of coming there today, right? Sure, sure. So, so the way it works is it, it, it may sound a little more difficult than it really is. So if you've been vaccinated and you have your, your card, of, you know, shows that you were vaccinated 14 days or longer uh, ago, then that's fine. Or if you have a test, you've taken a test within the last 72 hours, and you have that test result either on paper or on your on a screen on a phone and we'll just have to look at it and just be prepared to show one or the other uh, when you come in and um, and we should be we should be okay it'll be you know this happened in New York when the Yankees opened and when the Mets opened and it worked worked well and um, everybody I think understands we're in a little bit of different times and um, we're gonna have we have something called fan safe which is once you're in the park, it's, it's going to be one of the safest places you could ever be. Um, we're going to have all the sanitation and we're going to have concessions set up in a way that it's going to be very safe. So uh, just want to get you in. Try to come early if you can. Ceremony start at 1. Um, you know, gates open at 11. Uh, look forward to seeing you. So, uh, Larry, uh, when it comes to the concessions, uh, you're going to ha have to order food on your app. So you're not going to be able to stand in line up on the pavilion there to get food. And today on Twitter, this might be funny to you, but there was a little controversy. I guess you went on a radio show and you said that the, the crazy crab sandwich is not available and people are like. This, this is OK. I know. OK, we got a crazy crab controversy. I, I'm, I'll own up to it. Uh, it's I, you know, what we had to do is we had to, to reduce the menu a little bit. I mean, you're still getting all the standards are there. Maybe people think crazy crab's a standard. But you'll have garlic fries, you'll have the nachos, you'll have all the hot dogs and hamburgers and the beers, uh, craft beers and the and uh, all the things that I think are you know are standard. But yeah, I, I we what we did was we just had to had to pare down the menu a little bit because of the of the way you're ordering through the app. Um, we test drove the app the other night. It seemed to work well. It's now worked well in other ballparks. Um, you know, in the in the last many days, so uh, so it should should be a way to. to it's not, it may not be perfect, but it should be a, a good way to be able to uh, enjoy your your standard ballpark fare. Maybe sans the crab, but I know that by popular demand, it'll be back soon. Maybe uh, maybe by the next homestand. All right, Larry. Before I let you go, I have to ask you a baseball question. I've been uh, pleasantly surprised uh, by the way the Giants are playing. Buster Posey, the elder statesman of the crew. I just love seeing him behind the plate and uh, of course some of the other guys too, but he for some reason stands out. He's back after taking a year off. Uh, what are your thoughts about Buster and the crew this year? Well, every, everyone loves Buster and it's just it's so great because you know he had the, a hip procedure two years ago and sometimes it takes a couple of years to get your hip back with the rotation and you know as a baseball hitter, rotation's everything. So uh, having Buster back, having the familiar faces back, like Buster, Brandon Crawford, Brandon Belt, uh, Johnny Cueto, who's pitching today, and then having the mix of some of the young players like DeBone and Mike Yastrzemski and Alex Dickerson. Um, we think this, this club is uh, sort of underrated, and we think that we have a chance to, uh, to do a lot more this year than people might think, and uh, we're off to a pretty good start. We won 
two out of three uh, against San Diego in San Diego, a club that has been heavily favored to uh, be a playoff team. Well, Larry, I look forward to my yearly handshake, or in this case, elbow bump, when I see you next out there at the yard. Congratulations on opening day. I know it's going to be different, but I know you're excited. Thank you for joining us. Well, we'll look forward to seeing you in your pod, and, uh, and just happy opening day to our fans, and thank you for all your patience and resilience. And uh, I think this is going to be it's the first gathering back in San Francisco um, on Moss, and I think it will be a wonderful day. So thanks, thanks to everyone.